Today is Thursday, July 29th, 2021, and my cheeks hurt from smiling because Russell Westbrook, my favorite player, is going to the Lakers. And we might just bring the title away. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my brother. I have lots of notes. There's lots I want to say. Welcome to Therapy Season 2. Russell Westbrook is my favorite player. He plays hard. He plays defense. He takes things personally. He runs up and down the court. His conditioning's crazy. He doesn't take a playoff. doesn't take a night off. He's a willing passer. He loves a good fancy, flashy pass. A beautiful, wonderful, extravagant move here and there. He dunks hard. He jumps high. He runs fast. He's everything I love. He's my favorite player to watch. Growing up, it was Dwayne Wade, it was a little bit of Kobe, rest his soul, but now it's been Russell Westbrook. It's been Russell Westbrook for years. I knew from the very second that Kevin Durant got injured. I knew from the very second that Kevin Durant left that he was going to win MVP, and Russell Westbrook did win MVP. He has more triple doubles than like anybody that's ever touched a round circular thing ever, and he's just incredible. But things have been tough. He's been all over the place. OKC, Houston, Washington, D.C. But now he's coming to L.A. He's, he's, he's coming back to where he grew up with the Lakers, with Anthony Davis and LeBron. LeBron James. It's, it's a super team. It is a super team. It's okay. I don't care, by the way. I'm tired of talking about other teams like they're super teams. I heard somebody say that the Bucks were a super team. I shouldn't even give it a second of my time. But that's disgusting. My brother and I were just talking about this right before I got on to do therapy. If you have three players that are supposed to be all-stars, like this year, if you'd be surprised if all three of them weren't all-stars, that's a super team. Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie, super team. LeBron, Wade, Bosh, super team. Pierce Garnett, Ray Allen, super team. You expect three of them to be on the all-star team this year. Steph, Clay, Durant, super team. When Draymond was still kind of in his prime, close to a super team. But 15, uh, 14, 15, 15, 16 Warriors, I'd argue, I don't care if they won more games than everyone ever, they weren't a super team. Because if Draymond wasn't an all-star on any given year, you wouldn't be like, where's Draymond? But this, this, this right here, it's a super team. And I love it. I don't remember the last time I was this happy about the NBA. My favorite player going to the coolest team. It's going to be the hard. I want a Russell Westbrook Lakers jersey yesterday. If you care about me and love me deeply... And you're like, uh, I don't know what to get Derek for his birthday. Yeah, yeah, you do. Now you know. I have so much. I feel so strongly right now. I am watching every second of every Lakers game. It's must-see TV. Like, your favorite TV show... Oh, there might be 10 episodes. There might be 15 episodes. There might be 30. Yeah, this is going to last from October all the way through, hopefully, June, July-ish. Because I think they're... (laughs) We're not listening to these analysts anymore, by the way. I'm sick of it. I'm so tired of pretending like fit and chemistry is this end-all, be-all thing. Okay? They're They're just better than you. And they're going to play better. People really, people really, people really thought that if Steph and Clay and Durant got together, they're like, oh, but they've never played with him before. It's going to be, yeah, two rings. James Harden, Kevin Durant and Kyrie, oh, I just don't know. Yeah, injuries took him. We'll see this year, though. Oh, my God. If they make, oh, God. If the Lakers and Nets are in the finals and it's Russ versus KD and LeBron versus Kyrie and, oh, God. I'm I'm so happy I could cry. I wish I I'm not exaggerating. 
people keep talking about how they won't fit, and I just don't. Who cares, by the way? Watch the game. We're trying to have fun, okay? And this is the most fun thing ever. Every game starts zero to zero. But when it comes down to it, in a seven-game series, 48 minutes, four quarters, I think the better team's going to win. And if the team has three perennial all-stars, three MVP caliber players, look, I know Russell Westbrook is on the backside of his prime. But he can get you a triple-double any game, baby. What do you expect me to do with this information? Yes, I might be a little biased. A little bit. And you know I love Russell Westbrook because I wouldn't just get this excited. I don't. It's not about the Lakers winning. It's not about LeBron winning. That would be cool, I guess. But this is just great for the league. I know people are like, oh, the super teams are ruining everything. Look, the Wizards didn't have to say yes, but they did, okay? And I hope they enjoyed the little viewership that they had. I think they had one, two, or three maybe nationally televised games. Welcome back to zero, buddy. No one cares anymore. No one's watching Wizards games anymore. I don't even think the people in D.C. care. They're too busy dealing with Joey B. I expect fireworks. I'm so tired of us talking about, how, oh, oh, they don't shoot. They're, they're not going to shoot very well. The spacing's going to be, who just won the championship? Was it the Bucks? Where were their snipers? Bobby Portis? Pat Connington? Those are the snipers, huh? The Bucks just won the ring. The year before, the Lakers won the ring. Where, where, where were their three-point killers? K KCP? Yeah, we got rid of them. We don't need them. It doesn't matter. Was it Kyle Kuzma? Was it Alice Caruso? Who cares? Who's shooting? The year before that, the Raptors won. Who were their snipers? Who were their killers? Kawhi was their best player. He hit mid-range jumpers. Ooh, ooh, the shooting's not gonna... Shut up. You're not fun. We're trying to have fun, and we're gonna win. You know, no, no, no. I'm not gonna... Look, I'm very excited. I'm not here to say that the Lakers are 100% a shoe in to win the title, but a couple hours ago, I was like, yeah, the Lakers will compete. We'll see. Probably not. We'll see, but probably not. Now, I'm like... Minimum... Western Conference Finals Game 7. You know who I'm thinking about? Oh my God. God bless Frank Vogel. If we're 15 games in, there's a losing record, we're not going to blame LeBron. AD sucked last year, and we still don't blame him. And Russell Westbrook's going to play his tail off. I don't care how many threes he bricks. We know he's going to be trying. What? They're going to train him again? No. Frankie V. The pressure's on, buddy. If you started losing early on this year, people would say, well, LeBron's old. AD's always disappointing. But now with now with Russ, it might be championship or bust. Western Conference championship at the bare minimum. But, I mean, the Clippers are falling apart. Kawhi's still hurt. Kawhi never stopped being hurt, really. He's in perpetual hurt. Who's going to stop us? You know, You know what? The Lakers are us now. See, I'm the type of person that follows a player, I guess, because I want, I just want Russell Westbrook to win. I want, I want him to get his ring. KD went and got, look, I'm not going to say they're easy because every game starts zero to zero. He still has to put the work in. He still has to make it through the regular season, postseason. KD earned his rings, but he did do it the easy way. And Giannis said that out loud. Russell Westbrook deserves to get his, the easy way or the hard way. This might be a little bit easier, but he's done his time. It's his time now. I don't care what these analysts say anymore. God bless Frank Vogel. Give him strength. Kuzma, you will not be missed. KCP, you will not be missed. Montrez, I don't know, man. I feel like Montrez never got a fair shake, but that's none of my business. I, I just don't care. I, I don't care. My brother and I were joking about how Kyle Kuzma is probably so depressed. You know, he, he's checking Twitter. He's checking his messages. His assistant... Who, his manager, whoever, is like, hey, we should really start checking out spots in D.C. He's like, no, please, please don't send me. No, 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 surely not. He has no one on his side, by the way. He can't call uh, B Big Brother Braun. Braun wants him out more than anyone. He can't call Frank Vogel. That's not his decision. Kyle, you have to go. You look awkward. You look weird. 
running around trying to be important, trying to be relevant on the court. Look, you're you seem like a cool dude, IRL. Your girl's nice. The gram looks cool. Like I think you're a cool person. But Russ is coming, and we need the ring. And it, you don't fit. I'm so happy. There are other things that I wanted to get to. You know, I, w- I literally already had the intro for this, this session recorded. And then, and then I found out about the news. I was late. I live on Twitter. I was late. Um, I, I got a text from, from, from my dear friend Matt. He just, it just said, Russell Westbrook, nothing else. And I was like, yeah, I, I heard, but I didn't know. And I checked Twitter, and I saw Woj confirmed it. Adrian Wojnarowski, leader and senior NBA lead insider, whatever. Woj confirmed, and I was like, this is the most important thing in my life right now. But I was gone for a couple of days. I, I, I had a little vacation. I went, I went back to Kentucky. I say back to Kentucky like I'm from there. I had like a short stint where I was doing work there for the government. That, that's its own story. But I went to Kentucky Kingdom. Some, some, some cool stuff happened there. Some crazy stuff happened there. It was extremely hot. Got a tan in some places. Didn't tan in others. Had a wonderful time with my fiance. Whatever. Whatever. Got, got a, there, there's weird stuff going on with the, with the vaccine and the, the mask thing now. They want us to put the mask back on. It's weird. Like, there are things that I plan to talk about before I even went to Kentucky, but this this took over everything. I had to get over My cheeks hurt. My cheeks hurt. I've, I've been yapping. I've been smiling. I'm smiling right now. I'm having a good time. And um, it's just, man, God, I love the NBA. I miss it already. I miss it already. And I've missed you. I've missed this. I'll see you in a couple days. This episode was made possible by Anchor. If you're listening to this episode on Spotify, please consider giving me a follow so you can be notified when I upload. If this ever ends up on Apple Podcasts, I'd really appreciate a five-star rating if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at Derapy Podcast or Instagram at Derapy underscore podcast. The intro music is by my brother, Damon Buxton. Outro music is by Lobo. And cover art is by my friend, Nick Johnson. Thanks for listening. This has been Therapy.